I was always fascinated by gaming and the stories it can create. It should have never ran from me. Nothing was planned. I was going to let it happen naturally and find out. Are you sure? 100%. This just might be the darkest story I ever share. Really? A chapter in gaming I will visit hopefully only once. Just remember, it's only a gameplay story. I'm listening. So what happened? It started in a desperate moment. Dead survivor, eh? Where survival took precedence over morals and ethical decisions. See, I was on the official service, a fresh spawn. You know what it's like. Looking for hope, an apple, a can of food, anything. But no, the entire town had been looted clean. But then, like, you gotta deal with the side effects. It could make for a crazy survivor story. If this was you, how would it go down? Give up? Give in? Start again? Maybe it's just who I am. I'm gonna go cook this. Because I'm too desperate not to anyway. And I wanna see what the side effects are like. And can I live with that? Could I do that? Could I make a story out of this? It would be so dark. I'm an artist who likes to paint different paintings. And this was a decision I could not return from. So now that I was all in, I figured I'd run some experiments and eat the fat raw, just to see what might happen. We're now, we're now officially accountable. I've got time, I know that, before the side effects will kick in. And after a sudden change of plans, I no longer needed a fire. I've turned to the dark side. Uh, I just got the side effects. Right, so this is where I need the pills now to be able to survive it. My first plan was to get to the medical centre as soon as possible. It's going to be tough. I was still hungry, so I did what I had to do. See now I'm all in anyway. There was hope, only a few blocks away. But time is of the essence. I know once you've got this, this infection, it starts chewing away at that health. This is not looking promising. The GP was empty. There was nothing. He'd been ransacked. Now oh, come on. This is, this is a bad spot for me. I can hear another one. Jeez, goddamn. There was nothing left in the town, even after double checking. So now it was time to head into the wild. Beautiful. Let's see if I can find some more. Apparently if you sit still long enough. I'm, I'm gonna die. I was infected by Salmonella, a bacteria, from eating the raw food. It was a short life, I learned a couple of quick things and... On one hand, I was ready to give up. But on the other hand, well, curiosity. Fire, right here. Craft a fireplace. This disease is killing me though. In my hand, let's light her up. Let's cook. And let's eat. I'm just going to puke it all back up too, that's the worst bit though. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be by far my darkest story I ever create, if I survive long enough to even make something of it. Let's try eat a little bit. Just get away from this fire for a sec. I don't think I can survive this though, because of the disease that I've got, and like... There's like, I don't know where there's any hostiles really, apart from that one that was down there and there was nothing there. At the moment I'm just trying to keep that stomach, something in there without puking it up. At least I was warm around that little campfire, picturing myself in a better place. Maybe sharing a five star meal with my neighbours, wearing a suit in a beautiful dining room. So, I know I could respawn just on the beach, but I like to try to treat each life as if it's a person that's living it. You never know where this one's going to end up. Well, I sort of know where it's going to end up now. But hey, it is what it is. We do what we got to do in Daisy. As long as no one sees me, I'll be happy. Just a cannibal up in the mountains cooking up some human meat. It's enough, enough now to see you people move along. Last piece, and then I'm out. Maybe I can puke this disease out of my system, you know what I mean? 
Maybe that's possible. I cooked up all the food and was moving on. But the real problems, they were only just getting started. Wait, I've got two bits. Oh, I'm, I'm a dead man. Um, how can I live this? What can I do to survive this? There's a well there. What if I like lay down, right? Not move. Let's eat. Let's wait a bit. Let's let the stomach. My food and water was dropping rapidly. I'd try anything. What the hell? I never even saw them in there. You gotta be kidding me. Hang on a minute. I had a couple of badly damaged tetra pills, but these were not going to help me. Right, let's let those pills kick in, because you never know. You have like a couple of sips of the water. Fill this up while I'm here. Oh man, if, if, if that pill does it and saves me, I'm going to be internally grateful. But everything that went down just came back up. I've puked up everything I've got. And I've just eaten my final steak, pretty much. Last sip of water. So those pills didn't stop that disease. I could hear the cows in the paddock. I had a shotgun, but no ammo. Ah, it's gonna be rough. Oh crap. Man, I am just holding on to life by dear thread. I have been since I started this character. Like, this is rough. It's a decent little sized town too, you never know. Only I got lucky enough and found some bloody vitamins. And that's when it happened. <laughs> that was creepy. The illness, symptoms and DZ that present after consuming human meat. They appear to be some type of brain disease, causing the affected subject to laugh at random intervals. <laughs> oh my god. I just keep puking it all up. Can, like, can I not puke this out of my system at least? My health, it was still dropping. And now, in the yellow. My health's going up. I was only just controlling my dehydration and hunger by taking small nibbles and sips at a time. I am so determined to survive this now. Feel, 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 feel. <laughs> I'm, ne I'm never gonna find pills. I can't believe I've been alive this long actually in this condition. Somehow I'm just keeping my health there in that yellow though. I killed a local chicken. Now, I needed a fire. So I gathered the materials and got to work. This is bad. This is real bad. I don't know how I'm going to make it through this. I just need pills, man. If I just had pills, I could recover, but like... And then it started to rain. Just what I needed. I'm getting over it now. I'm a little bit past it almost. But here I am cooking too at the same time, so it's like... I might as well see how far I can go. This is the only thing that's keeping me alive because every time I puke it up, I'm having a couple of bites. Outside this, there's nothing keeping me really alive. I need to get back to the coastline. I need to get to a hospital or a medical centre. Raid houses. I just need like multivitamin. I'm pretty sure it's multivitamins that I need because those other pills did nothing. Soaking wet from the weather, I was trying to make haste when I fell to my knees. Ah, for the love of God, just let me have one meal. One meal for crying out loud. Nice, mushroom. I need that. Any more? Nice. Oh, look at all these mushrooms. You actual ripper. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh, that is... That's a game changer. Alright, I've actually got the w water up into the white by doing this. Very slowly. See, just tiny little mouthfuls at a time, man. Little movements. And just living off mushrooms. I made it back to the coastline, and hopefully, I could find some loot. <laughs> and a bit of chicken, get that into the white. So I'm, I'm just taking these tiny little nibbles, man. It's kind of working. I don't know if this is dodgy or not, but hey, we do what we gotta do to survive. Inside the local hospital, nothing. Just the walking Z's. 
Now I've still got some sort of disease. I ended up finding a motorbike helmet and I was truly surprised at how much it would mask the sound of the cannibal laughter. Take that. That fruit is big. There was a couple of players inside the fire station, but I still had no ammunition. And there he is on the roof. Has he got a gun or anything? They look like they had average gear, but with some sort of weapons carried on their backs. I saw him at the door. There he is. That's a different one, there's two of them up there. But what if I puked up and they heard me laughing? Then what? There's two people up there. They must be together. Uh, what do I want to do about that? Do I maybe want to... Hold them all their gear? I chose to avoid them. Confrontation would most certainly end with my death. This is pretty crazy. After all, I had the giggles. And everybody would know what I was guilty of. That's me for the day. I'm surprised I'm still alive. I logged out for the night to have a break, only to log on the next morning, butcher a chicken, and continue on with my journey. Anybody else here? I was heading southwest through the military airstrip, but there was nothing there. Somebody's been through here, man, and they have taken the lot. Holy crap. There was not a single item at the airfield. How tragic. I've been having no luck with weapons, no luck with medication, like, this has been a very unlucky run. Damn, I wish I had a weapon to fight it. There was now shots being fired at the airstrip. I have to get gear. I had only just looted the place, so I was not going to waste my time. Besides, I needed food. It was way more important. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Everything's gonna... I picked up a decent CR rifle on my way inland. I then tested my blood type, looted the joint, and got the hell out of there. My next plan was to head to the Northwest Airfield, but nothing ever goes to plan. That's not too bad. I, I got some pills from down in there, so that was kind of worth it. Where is it? There it is. If I can get close enough. I needed food as soon as possible, but at least now I had a handful of ammo and was able to do some decent hunting. There we go. See, I'm not, you know, that much of a cannibal. I haven't even killed anybody. I'm just a cannibal out of needing to. I'd finally had some real food, and it'd been a long time since I'd puked up. But the cannibal laughter. That was here to stay. It was going nowhere. Slowly making some progress now. I just need like a plate carrier and I'm going to be quite comfortable for a bit. Then I can go hunting. Helicopter? There was a patrol helicopter close by. It sounded like it had been shot down. Something crashing out there. I'm so going to go check that out. That was so close. I think that was a helicopter. It must have been. I could be one of the only people out here too. I'm that far inland. I'm gonna get a hyperfermia. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with. A couple of kilometers later, and I'd made it to the crash site. No more players, hopefully. That would be the main thing. <coughs> There's a goddamn tent out here. Somebody else was camping this area. I would have to proceed with caution. Oh, well, there could easily be someone out here. OK, 
kidding me? I was wearing rags for shoes, and I was sick of making new ones, so this came along just in time. <laughs> There's an actual tent out here. Someone's like camping this helicopter for sure. <coughs> Bear steaks. Thank you, my friend. I took all the cooked food and even the cooking equipment itself. That was big and it would save me a lot of time instead of making campfires. Alright, let's clear them out. This is gonna be tough. I got a bit of a uniform upgrade, better than nothing. Look at it, there she is. Nice. That was a nice shot. Even though it was up close, but look at that, that's a big buck. Big stag man. Nice. That is awesome. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. I need another motorbike helmet. That last one got ruined pretty easy. A couple of zombies ruined it. But that was good for masking the sound. <laughs> Something which I don't have now. My plan was to head to the Northwest Airfield, but I'm not gonna lie. I got a little bit lost out there. Definitely a bit of a journey. Didn't just looting. Staying alive, but I've got everything I need really now. I mean, I could have done with a better backpack, some night vision. There's lots I could have done with, but I'm going to head back to the coast because I need medical supplies. Like, I've j that's what I've had barely any luck on. And, yeah, I don't know where many hospitals are out here. So, yeah, that's the plan so far. I've had a flu for so long it's not funny. And, well, the cannibalism symptoms. It's been pretty crazy. I'm thinking about making a base and stuff, but uh, I don't even know where. Just roaming around thinking, like, where could be the best spot? But what, do, what do I want a base for? Is store stuff? So, uh, I don't even know. I was now back on the coastline, and I was considering building a base. I'd never done it before in DayZ. So first, I'd have to find some basics. How you doing? I'm fantastic, how are you? I'm alright. I wasn't even sure what I was looking for. I knew I'd need like an axe and a saw. An axe? And a hammer? Oh really? Doing some base building? Probably a hammer and nails. Don't mind a little giggle. And that's when I bumped into this fresh spawn. <laughs> I know what you've been up to. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah look, you gotta do what you have to do to survive, you know? I'd been doing a lot of running around looking for supplies, and my food, it was getting lower. <laughs> I am feeling kind of hungry too. Would you mind making a sacrifice? Oh, yeah. You're gonna fucking eat me, are ya? Possibly. Anything to trade? <laughs> oh, how about a bandage or a glow stick? How's that? An apple? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's all gone. <laughs> I'm hungry. There's a saying, didn't your mother ever tell you not to play with your food? I even offered him to join me for a meal. I mean, I would like some food, but not if it's human steak. Nope, you'll have to go <laughs> hungry then, you're missing out. I let this one live. We got too personal. The mathematics of human behavior. That crime scene was practically gift wrapped. All those ugly variables. He even seemed like a cool dude. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel like killing him. He was communicating too, too much. Sometimes you just gotta let them go. I wasn't actually that hungry, so it wasn't really worth killing him. Well, we'll hunt some players. Because I am gonna need food soon. At the moment, I've still got a fair bit of food, so... God damn, I hate this stretch. Alright, I'm getting lower on food. Should go hunt an animal, but... It's hard to tell, but that's two people stacked together, and I only had a split second to make my decision. Take that back.
Where's the turn? Ouch. I just soaked a shot. Third of my health gone, just like that. Lucky for the play carrier. Where? Or I'd be unconscious. Where did that hit me from? Oh. Any second now. I was waiting to be hit by a second round. Where did that hit me from? Morphine pen if I've got it. Pretty sure I've got one, yep. They must have only had a simple weapon, and possibly even only a single shot. And with a dose of morphine, that'll numb the pain. So where was the second person? How's my plate carrier? Interesting. It was a rifle too. It sounded like it. I don't know where the shot came from. Maybe they only had one bullet. Either way, that shit hurt. I slowly took my time, scouting out the woods. Where is he? Looking for the second person. <laughs> There's his dead friend. Where's, where's the shooter? I'm going to double check around because I really want to chop this guy up and make the kill worth it because I actually need food. And I am like a cannibal after all. I pulled my hunting knife out. Please don't let this be the enemy. The tragedy is not to die, but to be wasted. No, nah, right, if he was around, I'd be dead by now. Nervously waiting on the shot. Any moment now. But nothing. I need my bag, it's just here somewhere. I dropped my hiker's backpack in the woods earlier, so I could be lighter on my feet. Handy thing about being a um, cannibal though, it's like, you can just farm the fresh spawns on the beach if you need to eat. So, it's, it's like, free food! <laughs> my ticks from the side effects, they make shooting so difficult. I really need a new canteen. This one's probably gonna get me infected just drinking from it alone. Which ain't good. Another good thing about hunting other players is it saves you so much time running around looking for food in houses. I mean, that's the only up to it. <laughs> it's like... I'm not trying to justify being a cannibal. I am a cannibal. Cook, baby, cook. She's cooking. I need more meat, really. Like, this ain't gonna last that long. Maybe I should go hunting for more. It's like hunting for deer. Hunting for fresh spawns. <laughs> that, that is brutal. That is so brutal. Right, let's have a bit of a feed. A little protein scramble to start the day. It is what it is. These cookers, man. So handy. So, so handy. So camouflaged, so small. Yeah, it's perfect. Fix up my gear. After all, I got hit by some bullet. Oh, my backpack's taking a hit too. Of course it is. Imagine being a fresh born man. You just spawn on the beach. Like, yep, tell them to find the basics. Apple, can of food, wandering by, and in the distance here, a little giggle. There was a world where players could get water next to the police department, and I was camping it. I oh, know, it's a zombie. No person. It's so hard to shoot with this. He's, um... Is that another person? <coughs> with these ticks? It's so hard. <laughs> yeah, so difficult to shoot with this tick. The tuff tuff thoughts. What a nightmare. There's no point in me going down there. Just, I've noticed a lot of people see I've got the, the crosshair on too for thirds. A lot of people said, um, you can't have that on official service. And it's like, wait, wait what do you mean? Look, see here. Official service, Daisy, you know, official service, options, crosshair, enabled. So it's like, disabled, enabled. Um, yeah, the pros have probably got it turned off because they're pros, but I'm no pro. I'm just 
I'm, I'm an average player. I think I just saw somebody on the roof. There was a couple of more players still inside the police department, and they were having a punch on. Oh, so hard to shoot like this. I'm gonna get a little bit of a better position. There we go, he's getting a drink maybe. One holding a bandage, one wielding a knife. It was a bloody fight to the death over a couple of sips of water. But which one would become Victor? Here we go, let's see who wins. <laughs> well, he was like, like, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. He's like, I've had enough, I'm broken. He's like, oh, I'm limping, I'm limping. I need a better angle. They are going for the sheds. This one's <laughs> Now he's been chased by the zombies. There we go, he's getting chased by the zombies. He's going for a drink. But the games were over. No drinking, bud. And the hunt would conclude. And as a legendary person once said, only God can judge me now. There goes my silencer. <laughs> I better um, put a new silencer on. Suppressor, silencer, whatever you guys call them. Let's quickly do that. I was like <laughs> unprepared for that loud bomb when she did take off. <laughs> Got one left. Enjoy some lunch. <laughs> See who else rocks up. <laughs> a zombie? Yeah. So we got one, two bodies. Meat over there. That's gonna be plenty, man. I'm gonna load up. I'm just gonna make sure no one else is around. So I'm gonna hang out for a bit longer. Stop these back up. We're good to go again. Yeah, a little bit of camping never hurt. Camping, ratting, whatever they call it nowadays. Da, 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 da. No fat. Just steaks. That'll do it. That'll do it. After I prepared the bodies and took what I could carry. Get moving. Hush, little baby. I made my way up the hill and further into the forest. None of this good meat is going to waste. See, it's only good meat now because, like, I've already got the side effects. Otherwise, to anyone else, it's like a nightmare. <laughs> Dirty to nightmare. Trust me, it is. It makes shooting a nightmare. Oof. Oh, that small gas can's running out of juice quickly. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on that. Throw that straight in there, throw that straight in there. Up in the hills, I sat around my camping pot, roasting up my reward, fully embracing the lifestyle of an animal. And it was a life that I did not expect I would play. However, it's not one I regret. The side effects made it difficult. What it was, though, was lonely. Oh, that small gas can's running out of juice quickly. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on that. Throw that straight in there, throw that straight in there. I don't think I'm gonna have enough gas to... I'm gonna switch that off because I have noticed in the past that when that went, it blew my whole thing. So because there's only a tiny bit left in there. If anyone was to open my backpack, they would be horrified at the contents inside. Now, at least I don't need to worry about it for ages. Let me know down below. Have you lived life as a cannibal, like full out? Just planned on surviving as long as you could as one? And how'd it go? Uh, I my head. The plan was to head north. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, now that you found my video and you know my story, don't forget to like, subscribe, and... The adventure will be yours and mine today.
May I come in? <laughs> 